Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long. Yeah, it's been so long, sorry. Um, look at my plants. Okay, the last time that I showed you guys, I think I had about four plants. I kid you not now, I have over 30 plants. I'm freaking obsessed now, I need to stop. Um, yeah, I had like a crazy phase where I was just buying plants every week. So now, no more plants for me for a while. Um, but anyways, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I installed this wig, this orange ginger wig. It's from Mega Look. I'll put it in the description box. It's absolutely, like, beautiful. It's so soft. It was easy to put on. It was already pre-plucked uh, and pre-bleached. I believe this is either 20 or 22. I want to say 22, and it is body wave. I did straighten it, though. So this is not going to be a tutorial. Um... I mean, if if you want, it can be, but I personally am still learning how to do wigs. Um, the wig, the wig life is still very new to me. The bald cap method, it is so annoying. Honestly, do not look forward to doing that part. Okay, so if you want to see how I install this wig, then keep watching. This is the box that the hair comes in. It comes with this little pouch. So there's like eyelashes. I think this is just like to wrap the front. Edge brush and wood cap. So that's what you get in the pouch. It looks so, oh my God. I, every time I see it, I just, I keep, I keep forgetting how orange it is. I'm a little bit nervous, but I was on Pinterest and I saw all these girls, like black girls, like pull off this color. So I was like, I think, I think it'll be okay. Let me show you guys close up what this wig is looking like. It The knots are already bleached, thank goodness, because I hate bleaching knots. Um, this is, I hope it's focused. I can't really tell. I think it is. I might have to pluck it a bit, but that's okay. That's okay. At least it's bleached. That's like the most important part. But, so the first thing I'm going to do is braid my hair back i'm gonna try to braid it as flat as possible so i actually went over it with um uh, my timo straightener just like very quickly you don't have to do that but i just find that your wig lays much better if you either blow out your hair or or quickly just go over it with a straightener i find this method of braiding your hair back for wigs is the best if you have long hair or lots of hair or if, or if you just want your wig to lay super flat this is like the best way. All right, so I'm just gonna braid my hair all the way back. Before I started braiding my hair back, like this method, I would honestly just like put my hair in a little small bun in the back. And that was not cute because you could just see a bump and I could feel a bump. So this is definitely way better. All right, so I'm gonna braid it all the way to the end, done. Once you get to this point, you're gonna grab your first braid and then braid it into your second braid and then just continue braiding. Braid it all the way to the end and then you just kind of repeat. I'll link um, the tutorial that I followed in the description because she explains it much better. But that is pretty much how I do it. Make sure you don't pull um, the braid up too tight. Otherwise, you're going to have a really uncomfortable feeling back here. So when you pull it up, just make sure you're pulling it not too tight. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you what it looks like. I hope you guys can see. So this is what it looks like in the back. It's probably super messy but it is quite flat. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. I'm gonna start from my ear, so that way when I get to the middle, I'll have two braids, which I will combine into one, and then I'll crochet that one into these braids. All right, so I'm on my last braid, and I'm gonna combine these two braids when I get here, and then I'll just have one braid. If 
I had done the braids even smaller, it would even look even more flat, but I don't feel like doing that many braids. Um, I'm gonna just crochet it into these braids. I can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm just feeling. Okay. okay. This is the wig cap that I'm using. This part always makes me nervous because if I, I feel like if I do a bad job applying the cap, and my wig doesn't turn out as good. Do you see how flat that is? Yeah. So I could glue down the fronts of my hair just so just so that when I pull the wig, um, the cap forward, my edges aren't like coming down. But uh, I'm just gonna try to push back my edges, the fronts of my hair. <laughs> this part always makes me nervous. I don't know why. Should I pull like this much? All of a sudden I'm like forgetting how to do this. Do I usually pull this forward like that? I don't know. I look absolutely insane right now, but I just put on my wig cap and I put this by Kiss. It's the Almighty Bond. This is my first time using this glue. Yeah, so I just put it around the cap where I'm gonna cut. This is like a different method I'm trying. Usually I just use free spray, which I'm still going to use free spray, but I've seen girls put like the glue on the cap as well as free spray, so. Okay, I like to go around the ear too because once I start cutting, I snip right here to get my ear out. If I don't free spray it right here, it's going to just like rip. And then I'm just going to dry the free spray with my blow dryer. my poor plants <laughs> okay so I'm gonna cut the lace I'm gonna get my ears out of here these scissors kind of suck go around I'm gonna work with it I think I need to cut the cap a little bit more I'm gonna put the wig on so that way I know where to cut Okay, so I already straightened the hair um, and I plucked the middle part a little bit, but I think I might need to pluck it a little bit more. I'm just going to mark where I need to cut. So I have marked where I need to cut a little bit more, so I'm going to just do that. Okay, if you have to do this, be super careful, but, oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to carefully cut a little bit of the lace. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to add some more glue. So I'm going to put my first layer of the glue. I think I'll do two. I usually just do one, but apparently two or three coats you need. I don't know. I'm just trying different methods because I'm still learning, so I'm going to try doing two coats. Okay, I'm going to wait until this dries up clear, and then I'm going to do another thin layer of glue. Okay, before I put that glue on, I should have bronzed my cap added some bronzer okay let's do that last time I had a wig I tried this it's a little bit light I don't really want to use my good bronzer you know so I have this fit me definitely not my shade but my scalp is kind of this color so I don't know maybe it should be a little bit darker we'll see how this looks I'm gonna do a middle part so I think I just need to do it here in the front. All right, so I'm gonna do one more coat of the glue. While I wait for the glue to dry up, I'm gonna add this powder inside of the 
the wig. I adjusted the hooks, these two hooks, um, just so it's as tight as it can be, just because this is not adjustable. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna put it on. This glue is taking too long to dry. I think I might have just put too much on here, but the front, it's dried up really nice. Look at, should I just cut this or leave it? I think I'm just gonna leave it. Oh well. All right, all of a sudden my forehead looks like it got bigger. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use my hot comb and just flatten the top and comb the front up a bit. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to flatten my hair. I'm using this styling wax stick just to lay down these flyaways. I don't know if I want to lay... I never lay down my edges because I just honestly, I don't know how. So I never bother. Um, okay, I'm just going to straighten it a bit more. I'm just adding free spray to the lace in hopes that it will melt it a little bit better. Okay guys, I think I'm done with the front. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. Nah, it looks fine. Yeah, this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I, I love wigs that require the least amount of effort and I found this wig pretty easy to install. Um, I did pluck just the part a bit, but other than that, the hardest part is honestly putting on the freaking um, bald cap. I'm terrible at doing edges, so I did like the tiniest bit, I don't even, the tiniest bit. I'm horrible at laying down my edges and honestly I don't. I don't really care for um, doing edges. If you guys have any tips for me on installing wigs, let me know in the comments because I, I wanna learn and get better at this because wigs are fun. I mean, I'm more of a braids person, but wigs are cool. I like doing wigs once in a while. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you want, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.